If you missed Adobe Max 2025, don't you worry. I sat through all the keynotes, scrolled through all the demos, and I'm breaking down my favorite updates. Today, we're talking Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and Firefly. For my designers, these are updates that'll actually make things smoother, speed up your workflow, and maybe even give you some time back in your day. There are definitely some key updates that we were all expecting, but let me know down below if there were some things that you felt might be missing. Let's jump in. Let's kick it off with Photoshop. It looks like they've got quite the performance glow up this year. On device select subject and remove background now make it very easy to isolate people or objects without waiting on the cloud. That means faster edits, better privacy, and smoother results. This is perfect if you're editing on a flight, in a cafe, or anywhere without the world's best Wi-Fi. Temperature and tint adjustment layers have just landed. Finally, you can correct color balance without flattening or duplicating your image. It feels like a really small thing, but it completely changes how you handle white balance and lighting consistency across a project. And my personal favorite update here, Harmonize. If you've ever struggled to make multiple photos look like they belong in the same scene, this tool is your new best friend. It automatically matches tones, colors, and shadows across different layers, saving you from those endless manual tweaks with curves and hue saturation layers. If you're doing mock-ups, product photos, or brand visuals, Photoshop 2025 really just upgraded your workflow. Next up, we have Illustrator. This update is all about speed and precision. Illustrator now launches three times faster and saves files six times faster. I can't lie to you, I might actually miss those moments daydreaming and staring at that loading screen, but onward we go. We've also got Smarter Snapping. Tangent and perpendicular guides help you align complex shapes with surgical precision. It's subtle, but if you do logo work or iconography, it's a dream. Then we have the new font browser, which I genuinely think would improve my quality of life. You can group entire font families, preview them live, and test variations without leaving your artboard. No more endless scrolling through drop downs trying to remember what that one random typeface from so long ago looked like. And of course, for my color nerds, perceptual and dither gradients are here. Make your color blends look smoother, richer, and more natural both on screen and in print. No more harsh banding or uneven color shifts. Illustrator 2025 is fast, clean, and ready for whatever style you throw at it. Now let's talk InDesign because it's quietly catching up to the modern design flow. Copy and paste text formatting finally works the way we've always wanted. You can paste out text between documents and keep everything consistent. I'm talking fonts, spacing, colors, all of it. Goodbye mystery formatting. I almost overlooked this one, but then I realized this is something that I would actually use quite often, converting PDFs to InDesign documents. If a client sends you a PDF to edit, you can now do it without the hassle and headache. They've also smoothed out the Adobe Express template integration so you can send all your layouts straight to social in one click. It bridges that gap between polished print design and quick digital content. Best of both worlds, really. InDesign might see me a lot more this year. Finally, we have Firefly. This is Adobe's creative engine for brainstorming, building, and refining your ideas. The latest update focuses on control and cohesion, sharper visuals, better lighting accuracy, and more intuitive tools for building consistent design systems. There's also the new Firefly video editor in beta. You can create short motion concepts or transitions without even touching After Effects. This is perfect for designers who want to add light motion to their campaigns without going full on video editor mode. And yes, Harmonize makes another appearance here along with the color variance tool, both designed to help your assets visually sync. It's basically a color assistant ensuring everything in your campaign looks cohesive. Adobe Max 2025 was all about speed, precision, and the kind of updates that actually make your creative workflows easier. I mean, the updates in Photoshop and Illustrator alone are really cutting your busy work and helping you reach that efficiency that you've been working toward. Drop your favorite update down below, and of course, subscribe for more design breakdowns, creative workflows, and tutorials.